Hi guys, it's Jen, and this week I'm going to be planning July 9th through the 15th. And like I've mentioned before, July is a pretty empty month. Um, my husband's recovering from shoulder surgery, so I don't have a lot of plans. So this week I was free to use whatever kind of kit I wanted. There was no specific theme I was sticking to. So I'm going to be using the June, I believe it is, um, kit from, or subscription box from Simply Gilded. It comes with two sticker sheets, um, like the April box had, and then also an additional sticker sheet with some, like, st seal sticker type things that are seashells. And then it also comes with two sea glass bows. Um, the 10 and 15 millimeter, a matching mermaid tail, sea, uh, fish scale, another teal one with a lot of fish and ocean life on there, and then a little word washi. So that's what I'm going to be using today. Um, I went ahead and whited out my bottom and my flags just because I knew I had a lot of trouble with it last week. It turns out my washi was almost empty, or my whiteout was almost empty. So I figured I might as well just get that figured out this week. So I definitely want to put down this washi, it's so pretty. Um, you can see there's little like, starfish flowers, some other little fish. You noticed I have not found my ear and conjure ruler, but that's okay. So yeah, this week's pretty empty for us. We've got an HOA meeting coming up. Um, our HOA just covers um, we've got a pond in our neighborhood and we've got a sign at the entrance to our neighborhood and for the most part they cover that and just attending the meetings it seems like they're mostly just trying to get the fees from the people who don't want to pay them so that's no fun we keep up with ours it's not that expensive so there's that, and um, it's not a gated community or anything like that, but our neighborhood has grown pretty close like two, three years ago. Several younger families moved into the neighborhood at the same time, and they wanted... Well, I've got this out. I'm going to go ahead and use it for my flags, too. Um, Yeah, several younger families moved into our neighborhood at the same time and decided, hey, we want to meet our neighbors. So the three families decided to host a neighborhood block party because we didn't have anything like that. And it's continued, I believe this year's the third year. I could be wrong, but it's been continuing on and that's actually... This weekend for me, it'll be, I think it's the Saturday before this for you guys. Um, but yeah, we love our neighborhood. I think I mentioned a video or two ago that our neighbors are very nice to us and we try to be nice to them. Um, our one neighbor's still helping us out by mowing the lawn so that we don't have to figure out how to do that with... James watching the kids, or my parents watching them, or... Neighbors definitely made it a lot easier on us. How to decide what other washi I want down here. I don't think I want to put the bows. See, the words feel too small, but this is also a lot of teal towards the bottom. But I think, because... Most of the bows are, or most of the washi's teal. It's gonna feel very teal heavy anyways. So I think I will use these scales. So 
this washi tape feels so nice. It's a very nice quality and so crisp. Um, speaking of the Simply Gilded washi, especially the kits, um, so, like I'm sure most of you, I have a budget that I try to stick to, and I can't do a lot of subscriptions. And I keep seeing beautiful kits coming out from Scribble Prints Co. And their kit is... Um, their ultimate subscription is very similarly priced to the Simply Gilded subscription. So I was considering switching subscriptions. I haven't decided yet, especially since um, the Scribble Print Co. is a mystery. You're not sure what you're going to get each month until you get it. Versus the Simply Gilded, you get sneaks. So you can, if you see a kit that's just not something you think you'll use based on, oh, I don't know that I'll use those colors, or... Um, I don't know if, like, we knew pretty far ahead of time that this was going to be some kind of ocean theme. Um, I think we saw some of the washi before the cutoff date. Um, versus, yeah, the Scribble Rinse Crow is a mystery, which I liked the last few um, kits, but there's the chance that you get a kit that's just not for you, so haven't decided. Um, I would like to probably place an order with Scrub Prince Co. I've never actually used their kits. And I think... Um, I'm 50-50 on glossy stickers. But I do think I could stretch their kits very easily to cover multiple weeks. Which would be nice. Versus... Um, like some of these washies, I don't know how often I'll be using. Nice fish. <laughs> okay, I don't think I'm going to use the Monday through Sunday because I actually think I'm going to plan my monthly using this kit as well. Which, that means I can stretch this pretty well too. So, I'm trying to decide what I want to do because I think I want to change things up this week. Um... I pulled out these glitter headers. I was thinking both of these teals match pretty well. So I could do my normal setup. If you haven't seen it before, I flip two. Oh, I just finished filling this in. I keep my to-do at the top and then have a today section. I'm kind of torn though because a lot of my to-dos, I have trouble figuring out what all I want to put in there. And the other thing is that the Simply Gilded kit, the checklists are very small. And I tried last time cutting them in half and they're so small and fiddly that I don't know that I'd like that either. I think these work best in like a bullet journal, something where you don't have a lot of space. So I'm thinking I'm going to do something completely different and if I don't like it, it's just paper. It's just a week in my planner. Um, the other thing is this is your deco. You don't get... oh, there's also um, this. There's some die cut stickers in here. So you do get more deco. This kit is very deco heavy, which is why I was thinking about using it um, for my monthly as well. And then you get these. So there's a lot of deco, but there's only three full boxes. So I'm thinking I'll use a full box here, and then either not use one during the week, or maybe do one center in the week, and do more of a plans blob type thing, as opposed to a to-do list. So I think I'm going to try that out this week, and if it doesn't work out, it's just a week. So... Going along with that, I think I'm going to just do some strips of washi down the middle. Um, I forget who tends to do that behind their plans. I've seen it before. I've seen a couple people do similar, so... We will put some 
See, it's silly. I'm so nervous to do this because I'm not big on change, but I think it'll be good. But I want to see if my whiteout behaves this week, but let's get rid of the middle dots too. And be sure to check out my Instagram. I'll be sure. I haven't been great about keeping up with it. I post when I post videos, but I'm not great at posting the follow-up spreads. So be sure to check up on there. I will do my best to get it up there. And if I don't, comment it on there to remind me and tell me to get on top of that. Okay, so I think I want to do bows across the middle. Clean up the ends at the end. It's a little awkward because simply gilded washi appears to be made for left-handed people. Um, you have to lay down the bows left to right as opposed to a lot of washi you lay down right to left. Which is okay. Just makes stuff like this a little difficult to line up. I should do the left side first. And I want to do this pink because I want to bring that in. Bring in the pink color. Since there's a lot of teal in this kit. I think that lines up pretty well. I love this hoard washy ocean air salty hair and let's do this one because I use the High tides, good vibes. Yeah, but yeah, we use the mermaid tails down here, so. I am going to clean those up and I will be right back. it the washi is all very beautiful so it's pretty easy to like how it turned out so I think I'm going to put a full box here and I think I'm gonna go with sweet and salty the other thing about this week is my sidebar is changing because I've started a fitness planner and in my fitness planner, I'm keeping track of my steps. So I no longer need to keep track of them in my main planner. I think this will be more for, I don't know about memory planning, but definitely more day-to-day -day stuff that's not necessarily tied to fitness. Okay, so for this section, just a minute. Okay, so it hasn't been, I just cut a second ago for you guys, but it's actually been three days for me. I started filming this on Tuesday and it's now Friday. Um, when I got up to take care of my son and to check on some stuff and grab some boxes, both kids woke up. And then that was the day before 4th of July, so we had 4th of July. Yesterday was crazy. Let's see. 
It's my 4th of July week. I haven't even gotten to fill out my planner. So I was filming on Tuesday and it's now Friday. So both boys are down for a nap. I'm going to try to get this done. Um, my laundry's going right now, so I'm sorry if you guys can hear that. I'll hopefully have it a lot quieter next time, but it is what it is. So to work on my sidebar, um, I'm going to grab one of these stickers. I think I'm going to make a little to-do section. And I'm going to use the kind of beigey tone because I need a weekly to-do list since I'm getting rid of my daily to-do list. I'm gonna, I thought this pink kind of matched pretty well. I, the peach matches pretty well too. I'll go peachy since I don't tend to use those colors. Um, so the 11th is my son Andy's 11 month birthday. So I need to get stuff ready for his party. We need to figure out what we're getting him. That's so uneven. Um, but then my son Charlie's birthday is also coming up. He's an October baby and that's Halloween and I like to go kind of all out for Halloween. And um, Yeah, um, like, uh, Christmas is coming up too. So, I need to get things done, or I'm gonna be behind. I can't believe we're already halfway through the year and I haven't really started on Christmas stuff. So, the other thing I was thinking I'd put in here would be some habit trackers. Because I've started a fitness planner and I've started a memory planner. And I'd like to keep up with both of those. So, I think I will use... A lot, of, a lot of blues I could do the lavender. I want to do the peach, but I want to separate it since there's peach right here. So yeah, I don't use a lot of purples, so we'll use this kind of lavendery color. And I don't think I'm going to fit anything else in there since I've got the pretty big to-do list. So I'll go ahead and put down, I think there should be plenty of room for a washing strip. Tore that one really close and then I'll put it in the beach. should be whiting out underneath the Simply Gilded washi because it does show a little bit, but I think it's okay. So I am going to clean this edge up and I will be right back. So I think I am happy with how that turned out. Look how pretty this little washi all is. So I think I can start working on some plans. And we'll start with Monday. It is laundry day. Sorry, I'm still a little disorganized since I haven't been here. And there is a laundry day sticker here. So I think I will just put that right up top. I forgot these are slightly too narrow for Erin Condren. A little difficult to line up. Right. And I'll go ahead and leave this section right below it blank so 
if we have a lot going on, I can fill that with other plans versus if we um, don't have a lot going on, I can write what kind of laundry I did or anything like that. The other thing I want to do is upload. And I think I'm going to use Because I'm not doing to-do lists, I kind of want them to stand out a little bit. So I've got these quarter boxes from Zona Papery. And I think I'll just pick a pretty matching one. And we'll go ahead and put my YouTube schedule towards the bottom. And I'll go ahead and add Peachy one for I film on Wednesdays, and that should be fine this week. So there's no holiday to work around. And then I edit on Thursday. We'll go ahead and use the other teal. And fingers crossed this schedule actually works for me this week. So I've got these stickers from Heather Ann Plants. Load sticker down. And I'm trying, we'll see how well it goes, but I'm trying to get extra videos up on my channel and get some extra pictures for those that check out my Instagram. And I've started a fitness planner that I'd like to get in there pretty soon. And I'm going to be doing my monthly, which preview for that, I'm going to be using the same washi and my leftover stickers for that. So if you want to see more of this, definitely check that out. Um, okay, I think that's it for Monday. Uh, it's a very empty week because my husband's still recovering, he's still in his sling. So Tuesday's baths. And I've got, I thought, the orange kind of matched really well, but I thought the teal matched really well. So we'll go ahead and put these down. And just put them right there. So we'll do a orange. Uh -oh. Our other bath nights are... Thursday and Sunday unless we have something come up that means that we shouldn't do it that night but this week like I said is pretty empty that's it for Tuesday Wednesday is filming and that's it pretty standard week Thursday it is oh no Wednesday cannot forget it is also Andy's 11 month birthday and I wanted to mark that down so I've got these half boxes from Zona Papery and let me take this nice free teal one and then I have these buntings also from her and we'll throw in a nice little peach one And that is Wednesday. So moving on to Thursday, we have editing bath, we've got our neighborhood HOA meeting, and it's story time day, which story time is either a morning or an evening story time, so we usually get that in. So I'll go ahead and take this sheet again and grab, let's go with the lighter pinky peach color. We can put story time up here. If I can get these even. And I grabbed these books. I thought 
Um, either the blue or the gray would match. I like the gray. There's a lot of teal, but there's not that much blue in the kit. And then for our HOA meeting, um, I've got these, and there's these little stickers that say meeting. So I think I'll put the little teal one here, or I guess this one's more of a like denim -y blue. And I can write HOA meeting down there or something like that. So that is Thursday. Then Friday, nothing, Saturday nothing, and then Sunday's bath night, and it's also trash and litter. So I think I'm going to put down this little to-do header, because Sunday tends to be kind of our catch-all day. and. To make a little to-do list for this day, I'm going to use these little hearts. And that'll either be trash, litter, and something else, or if we end up with a lot of to-do lists, a lot of times I'll combine trash and litter. But that'll give me a nice little to-do list to fill in some events, because yeah, Sunday is kind of hard to miss out on my to-do list. And those are the events for the week. So next, I think I need to decorate. And I definitely want to fit some of these little seals in there somewhere. So I know this time is going to be pretty empty. I want to bring in a little more purple because there's that lavender. How do I want to do this? That's kind of pretty. And then I can fit some extra stuff around both sides. And let's see if there's anything else we need to fit in here. Meal plan. I should definitely do that on Monday because I'm doing my new fitness planner. I'm keeping all of my meals listed in there, but I should figure out what I'm going to have for the week. No appointments. We'll definitely get groceries. No. Oh. We can stick this celebrate down for Andy's 11 months. Planning time. I plan on so I film on two Wednesdays, so I pre-plan on Tuesdays. So that fills in the space. It's pretty bad. I want to put that there, but let's put some washi. No, because it's not going to stick very well to washi. So what if we put down another box? Because there's not a lot up here. So... I think I like this kind of greenish teal with everything here. Perfect. Is there anything else? I'll definitely be getting groceries next week, but I never know which days. So, usually just depends on how the boys are doing. Seahorses in here, they're so pretty. We'll probably fit one in there, and we'll do the pink one. And you know what? There's a meal plan giant fish. I think I like that better than this little meal plan. And the nice thing about this fish is it's not going to take up all of the space. So I can put some washi behind him. So where do I want him to go? I think we could fit him in here. We'll end up having enough stuff to fill in the space. And the washi doesn't stick down that down. 
I mean, it sticks down well. It's not going to peel up on its own, but with a little finagling, it will peel up for you. That just gives him a little touch of teal behind him, if I can stick him down. Definitely not gonna be permanently stuck there if I fuss with him a bunch, but I think that looks nice. And I think that is my week. Um, I've got plenty of extra deco, the extra seals, and all of these beautiful die cuts, which a lot of them will be in my monthly spread so if you'd like to check that out be sure to keep an eye out for that video thank you guys and i will see you again next time bye